Miss Kate. And Miss Hazel. Hello, first I want to say hi to Marcus Ray. And hi, then Marcus Ray. I want to tell you that um, our friend Gemma, his mom actually, gave us some bird seed the other day. And we thought, what are we going to do with bird seed? I know, let's make a bird feeder. So we're using craft sticks. Some people call them popsicle sticks. And we're making a bird feeder that we can hang up outside. I've got my bird seed here, so I'm going to just pour a little bit in here. I don't want to go too far because it'll fall out the sides, but you can refill it as you need it. And then you can hang this up and birds can sit on this really cute little perch and eat bird seed. And then you can come back and fill it again later. Be nice to the bird friends. Oh, I can hear bird friends outside too. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take the bird seed off of this, put it in here. We're going to start with these craft sticks. So the way we made this one was to line up seven of them together across the bottom. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're doing that. And then kind of, you know, see how well we can line them up. And we're using tacky glue. And make a line of tacky glue across the bottom here. I'm going to place a stick here because we want these to stay together. And I'll do the same on this side. I want them to stay together so line. Now, I'm also, oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm working on this piece of foam core so that I don't get glue all over my table. So I'm pushing them together to make sure they really stay. But is it just a recycled? Just you could use card, underneath. something. You could use a piece of newspaper. We're just, this is an old piece of foam core that we had from someone's sign that they didn't want anymore. Okay, now I've moved it, so now, because it's wet. But anyway, the next thing you do is you're going to keep building up. So you're going to, um, Put a little bit of glue. If you had a hot glue gun you want to use, that'd be faster because it would dry more quickly, but the tacky glue dries pretty quickly. So I'm going to do this. I'm just going to go until we get to where the perch is. Here we go. And here we go. Actually, you know what? Sorry. Here we go. I have to put my perch on first. Putting my perch right here in the middle, and then I'm going to add the next one up. And I'm going to keep doing that crisscross every single time. All the way up. So every time I do it, I'm putting some glue down, more glue, more sticks, more glue, more sticks, all the way up until you have this. Now I'm going to move this over. Let that dry. So now I've let it dry. So it looks like this. You can see where the perch is. It's right there, under, right on top of the first layer there. And then it's all stuck together. It's really in good shape. Now, normally I would take this time to paint, but we're not going to paint this one, so I can show you how to put on the strings. How so, if you how many sticks did you go? Did you layer with your? We used um, a total of twenty-eight sticks. So six. Because we went um, five up on each side, like this, one here, and seven across the bottom. So that was um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty plus seven is 27 plus one is eight, 28. So that's how many we did. You don't need to have it too deep because you want the bird to be able to get in there and get the bird seed. So I'm gonna do it that way. Now to put on the string, we're using some hemp twine that we have, but you could use kitchen twine. You want something pretty strong. So I don't know if you're in your house, you have something called kitchen twine, but it's used to like tie things up. Like let's say you're having a roasted chicken or a turkey, you need to have something to tie the the legs together. Do you think if you could use yarn, Miss Kate? You... If it was acrylic, maybe? Yeah, if you had acrylic yarn, you could. Because if you didn't... If you're using um, cotton yarn, it's going to fall apart after a while in the weather. Okay, so you're going to just tie some knots here on the end so it's nice and tight. So you poked it through the holes in the... I did. So if you see that... If you can see it up close, there's spaces in between where all the sticks are. So I'm just sticking it through the, between the first and the second, first and the second, and then again on here, the first and the second. And then when that's up there, then I pull it over to the corner and I tie a knot. So tying a knot is one, and then do it again, like you're tying your shoes, only you tie it twice that way, so it'll stay there. You can tie it more if you feel like you're a little nervous about it, but I think just doing it twice is going to be perfect. So once I do this, I'm going to get all four corners taken care of. 
And then I'm going to show you how to tie it up so that you can hang it up in your yard. Oh, birds are going to be so happy. I think birds are going to be thrilled to get some yummy food. And if it's winter time and you live where it's cold, the birds would be so happy. Yeah. I think and birds are going to be happy every time. Out a little bit so the squirrels, because I don't know if it'd be heavy enough for a squirrel. Because squirrels do love bird seed. Yeah, squirrels would probably be very happy too. The squirrel in my backyard would be super happy. <laughs> okay, now I'm almost done tying the last corner knot, and then I'm going to show you how to do it the top part of it. Okay, and then there's one, and then two, and now they're pretty sturdy. So I'm going to pull all four strings up like this, and then figure out what I can. So this is pretty even, right? It's kind of hanging up sort of even. You want it to be, oops, thanks if I just lost that side of it. So you're going to want to try and get it to be <laughs> flat when you hang it up. Otherwise, the bird seed will just pour right out. And to do that, oh my gosh, I'm having some trouble here. I wasn't having trouble seconds ago. Now I'm having terrible trouble. So we're going to tie a, um, see what I did? I pulled the strings together over my finger and then I pulled it through like that. And now they are knotted together too. And then I might have to adjust this a little bit. But then to make a nice little loop at the top, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to tie a knot. Oh, yeah, it's not exactly a slipknot. Let me do that again. I'll show you. I'm going to tie it like this. I'm actually going to go through here because that'll be easier. I'm going to tie it like this. So through the circle and then through the circle again without closing this big circle. And I'll pull it and now it's in a knot. And this is not very even and I may have to adjust this, but you can imagine now you just put some bird seed there, <laughs> hang it up in your yard and you've got a beautiful bird feeder. I'll show you the one that hangs better. And now you have a beautiful bird feeder. And happy birds. And very, very happy bird friends. All right, everybody, we'll see you soon. And remember, if you like this video, you can subscribe to us on this YouTube channel, Alameda Arts. You can also follow us on um, Instagram at Alameda Arts Fun, where we have lots of photos and, um, and some of the videos as well. Okay. Bye, everybody. See you Bye. next time.